signing with Bradford City's final home game of the season. 56 died in the Blaze at Valley Parade on the 11th of May, 1985. The cries have come on Barnet around us. And the West stand here at the Hive. Twists and turns to be anticipated on this nerve-wracking Saturday. Will it be Barnet or will it be Bristol Rovers to be crowned champions? An overcast early evening. The sun has been peeking through the clouds every so often. The referee is Dad in England from Barnsley, a regular on the Premier League circuit as an assistant. It's his 18th conference match of the campaign in the middle. Is it going to be a fuzzle finish on this last day of the season? A Barnet win and the conference title, not to mention automatic promotion, is theirs. Any other result gives Bristol Rovers the chance to snatch the crowd at the death. It's a fascinating evening, Adam. Yes. The last couple of seasons, but not this time round. Imposing bombs in gala. as usual occupying the right back position for Gateshead Gillis Baxter a tigerish tackle by Clifford McKinze Weston Back towards Villette Rodman covering for the visitors and Yadom Gash Chandler got the nick, Curtis, down he goes, Yadon, whistle have got. I say certainly a foul there, they are counter-attacking really well at the moment, Barnet. Again, he just got that little clip on the back of the hill, so you do worry in this situation. Overplaying at the back can sometimes get you caught, and James Curtis got away with it that time. Rodman. Gate said from Grimsby after his first move to Hibernian in Scotland fell through. And the field from Yadon. The Barnet players keep going. Clifford took the fall. Johnson's pass. And Baxter just over committing, catching Akinde. It's one of those situations where when it goes to Johnny Kinney's feet, you just got to let him have it. There's no way you're going to go through and win the ball there. The size of that man. It's a great position for a free kick. So Togo did a really bad corner before. This is a good opportunity to get a shot on goal. Togwell pondering. Began his career at Crystal Palace, released by Chesterfield last summer. Taken by Togwell. When you think about the overall title race, it equalises the Bristol Rovers' goal. And now, in terms of the as it stands table, Barnet are back on top. It was a catalogue of errors for Gateshead. I did say that set plays would be key for Barnet, but not letting the smallest player on the pitch win a free header there. He's completely unmarked. It's a great ball in from Togwell. You just can't allow anyone that amount of time to get a free head up. And certainly the crowd has now changed. Well deserved goal. Very timely. The Barnet fans knew that the Bees required a response to the Bristol Rovers goal. And Villette has come up with that reply. Just registered with the club as a 16-year-old back in October 2010. Lette, Curtis getting tangled up, Johnson. Gash who did well, it's Clifford. That oh, already starts with the determination of Lette to beat James Curtis in a tackle. Gated. Eastley struggling, could be significant. It's Rankin, and it was hammered by Weston! Oh, he really got hold of it. 
desperately unlucky. Curtis Weston. I want to say he's on a goal scoring form at the moment this month. Again, the two centre halves just can't cope with it. Finnegan there couldn't quite get his boot on it when it bounced up to him. So Curtis Weston couldn't have struck that any clean up. And Adam Bartlett beating all ends up, just couldn't beat the bar. Needed to take something from that game. Don't think it's going to happen. Here comes the corner. Cash on the header. And driven in at the second time of asking. It's another one. Villette, the man of the moment. Sheer joy at the hive. No stopping Barnett today. Well, talk about the delivery of Togwell, and it's Michael Gash here. It's Curtis says it switches off. It's a brilliant save from Adam Bartlett. But look at the amount of white shirts that are around the ball when it goes back to Valete. And it's a substitute that comes on. It's Ramshaw that's marking him again. We've got to visualise our way back into this game for Gateshead based on what we've seen so far. Yeah, I'd say they've been really, really poor. I don't know if this is going to be Gary Mills' last game. I think he'd be hoping for a little bit more from his players. Set plays have been crucial for Barnett. I said that in the first half. If the quality of delivery is right, it causes Gateshead problem, and it's done that so far. So 92 versus 91. And the Barnett win and the Bristol Rovers triumph. Show forward for the visitors. St. Luce. Seems to have a spring in his step. St. Louis, and it's a wonder saved by Graham Stack. My goodness, it needed to be. But that was right out of the top drawer from the Barnet keeper. And well, Villette at the other end. Down goes Bartlett. And I'll tell you what, Finnegan thought that was going to be a surefire Gateshead goal, but then there was Graham Stack. Well, this is the save that shows what a top class keeper. Graham Stack is the height that he is to get down that quickly. Good, a good hand on that. It's a big, big save. There's Akinde. Clark's got over to deal with the Akinde threat. Powering forward. Akinde. Corner. There's the outcome. So, going to James Curtis set. He actually gets drawn towards the ball, and that's what creates a space in behind John Akinde to run into. And this is where you want Clark out wide. Here is that pace to get past him. Still really have enough bodies in the box. Wins his team a good corner. Barn at the 11th club of Akinde's career. Look at the disparity as far as corners are concerned. Talk well with the latest one. And Yadon thought that was going in. Fortune didn't quite favour Barnett. Patterson was back. Well, how Andy Adam gets in front of anybody here. It's a great header in. It's just a touch on the post there. Togwell, Gash. Clifford. Seems to make himself available. Seems to be showing for it. Interesting ball, Gash had the letting. Just a few yards away on the hat trick. Mauro Villette. Oh, that was a great ball out wide. Villette just pulls off Manny Patterson. Talk about his aerial ability. Watches it all the way. I think it just comes off his right shoulder when it goes wide. Wonderful opportunity of getting that hat trick. It's a sign of a quality Martin Allen side. St. Louis. This was by Ramshaw to Baxter. Four minutes to go. Ramshaw, and that's offside. It's not going to count. John Shaw stealing in there. Flag was up. When the ball came in, you just see Andy Adam run out straight away. He is on sides, and he just lets him go. For me, that's a goal. 
and certainly onside there, take nothing away from the finish from Short. If that would have been counted, it would have been an interesting five minutes. Management team, directors, and the supporters have done their bit. The Bees are champions of the Vanarama Conference, and now it's the invasion of the Swarm. Scenes of utter jubilation at the Hive. Barnets have deserved this. Worthy champions. And they will return to the Football League after a two-year absence. Tears of joy there. Well, congratulations to Barnet, Martin Allen and all the fans. So they've been the best team throughout the season and they thoroughly deserve this championship. Yes, congratulations to Barnet and their supporters. And these celebrations are going to run for a while longer, I fancy.